friends let me hope you all are fine i am fine too i thank god so today's video is going to be kind of different from what you guys are used to but it is my hope that this video will help someone out there because i couldn't keep quiet about this it is something that just happened yesterday yes so we have a story time <laughs> so dear friends today's video or today's love story is about a ugandan lady by the name of eve in her late 20s eve thought had found love on online dating app with a guy from austria but later on things turned out not to be how eve imagined so friends i've known eve it's a year now i've been guiding her on her journey to find love so whenever she could come across a guy and wants my guidance i could give her the guidance on what to do so we kept on like that she kept on searching but as you know searching for the right guy online is not easy it is full of ups and downs and another thing guys is that eve used to search for love online but also could search offline so january this year 2024 eve wrote to me and wanted my guidance because met a guy in uganda in a mall and they started talking this guy seemed serious eve gave him her time you know to get to know him but the guy was really really fast and wanted to go and see eve's parents but when eve came to talk to me about it i was like if no you cannot just take this guy to your parents just ask him first what is his intention you know to see your parents so eve had to explain to this guy the guy was from austria too <laughs> so she had to explain that you can't just go and visit my parents just like that we have got our own culture and traditions and they should be followed so when she explained to him all that this austrian guy got angry and told eve so you think that i'm not good enough for you and for your parents parents you see <laughs> so he overreacted about that got super super angry to an extent i told eve no way let me hope you have not given him yet your goodies <laughs> and just let him be let him be don't even bother to explain more because if this guy was serious there was no need of him to overreact he should explain to why he wants to go and meet Eve's parents. So that one ended like that and Eve disappeared from that January. She came back again in February this year, 2024. So guys, after that one month, because we had talked in January, came back in February. And when she came back, did not come to be like, Bella, I found the guy, but I would like you to guide me. Like how we have been doing it. No. And I think she didn't ask for guidance because was already tired. Tired of being on online dating apps, not finding the one. So she found this Austrian guy online. All was good. She thought all was good. They planned this guy to come visit her. Guys, I didn't have any idea that <laughs> there was an existence of this Austrian guy. So they planned and this guy flew to Uganda to meet her. And when he arrived, <laughs> after something like a week, that is when Eve came back to me to tell me bella i have found the one after all the struggles that i've been through on online dating apps and sites eventually i have found the one and with this i'm calling all my babies if you know you're my baby watching this please 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 don't chat with a guy you make all your plans and everything then you come to tell me guys if you know i'm guiding you you have to make sure you update me on everything so that i get to give you the questions to ask the guy and you confirm if it's true the guy is the one or not because i'm very sure most of you 
that are my babies don't even watch my videos that I upload because you know I will talk to Bella so you imagine you know everything because the truth is I have put out all information that can guide you while you are on online dating apps to differentiate a serious guy and a guy who is not serious if you haven't watched those videos go watch those videos please please they are going to help you a lot a lot if you know that you are not my client my baby <laughs> yeah but for my babies please i need the update on everything that you do the problem here is most ladies i'm not saying all still think that white guys are saints you know they are angels like this morning when i posted this on my instagram there is a lady who came and was like bella i used to think all white men are angels but thank you for shining my eyes so i'm here talking to you you who is interested in dating a white guy please please not all are angels not all are saints so that is why you need to know how to differentiate a serious guy and a guy who is not serious on online dating apps if you know you are my baby please keep updating me on everything don't talk with a guy and you conclude oh yes he is the one i will just go to bella to give her good news and i won't ask for any guidance because <laughs> asking her for guidance she might find out something that is off and for me i'm already in love with this guy i don't want to lose him i don't want to go back to dating apps so you keep doing like that but later on things backfire you so we continue with eve's love story so that you guys can keep learning so yes guys eve was over the moon in her messages that she has found the one and i was happy for her but i never asked her questions because you know we do that before you guys meet ladies that have been guiding they know this when they find a guy there are some questions that we ask a guy and as we continue as days keeps on going we keep on asking different questions we put the guy into tests to see if the guy is the one or not and even if he comes we also have questions to ask this guy or if you guys are to go on a date we have questions to ask a guy if you are going on a date to know if he is serious or not i remember there is a lady i guided and she went on a date <laughs> with that guy that was a second date i gave her questions she asked those questions the way the guy responded we concluded he is not the one so same as the guy who is coming to visit you we have questions for him if this guy comes i told you you just observe even the things that he tells you his plans being there i gave you all the guidance okay <laughs> yeah so it is not that he is coming then you're starting to ask questions no we don't do that so eve made a mistake didn't tell me that she had found the one they were chatting with someone in austria and this someone was going to uganda to visit her so when she came again made another mistake never told me any red flag was like everything is okay happy celebrating giving me the good news i took the news as it was and after me telling her congratulations the second time when she came to me didn't come to ask for guidance no <laughs> she came to ask for the requirements needed from her side and from the guy's side to get the visa go to austria because this guy wants to invite her to austria <laughs> i was happy i was like wow that is really really good if this guy wants to invite you to austria and i took my time i told her all documents needed from her side so i guided her on her visa process and the time for that guy to be in uganda ended he had to go back to austria they kept on communicating and kept on preparing for that visa it was a tourist visa a schengen visa 
So yes, told me has applied for the visa and they will be calling her for an interview. I was like, okay, I'm praying for you so that you know your interview can go well. Also asked me, how long does it take to obtain the visa? I told her it might take up to two weeks. I was like, okay, thank you, mommy. And after two weeks, guess what? Eve got her visa to go to Austria. Wow. <laughs> I was happy, 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 happy. I told her, wow, finally, at least you have got the visa to go and got a multiple entry visa. But guys, before we continue, I want to take you a little bit back. If you ask me if I know anything about this Austrian guy, I'll tell you no, which is so strange because all my babies, <laughs> when we think the guy is the one, I know everything about the guy. Yes, everything, literally everything. Because <laughs> I ask questions and if the guy responds, you have to show me his response. So that I go through the response and see if there is any red flag or if this guy is trying to lie. But like I had told you, Eve never shared with me that was chatting with this guy from Austria. So if you ask me, what job he did, I don't know. But if you ask me his age, I can tell you he was way, way older than Eve. But again, when it comes to age difference, guys, I've told you the choice is yours. So if you show me you are happy, you're over the moon, you are okay dating this guy. I'm not your mother. I'm just your coach. If you need guidance, I give you the guidance. But if everything is okay with you, I can't tell you, don't date this guy because he is old. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> but I have something to add here. This is a fifth story of these guys in their 60s being bad to black African women. Let us all be careful. I told you these bad, bad white guys, not all attention guys. Sometimes they have their own idea of dating a black woman. They have got their own reasons to why they're going for young black women. This is the truth. I have nothing against older guys but oh my goodness we saw judith's love story the guy was in his 60s we saw caroline's story the guy was in his 60s now we are hearing eve's story this guy was in his 60s there are other two stories to come of these white guys in their 60s being bad 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 and all they think is that dating a black woman you know she is quiet can't tell me anything i will treat her just like the way i want and because she is young it's easy to be manipulated so i repeat guys no matter how desperate you are no matter what you have been through on online dating apps, what you have been through in your past love relationship experience, be careful. Don't just date a guy, be taken away because he's telling you, I'll invite you to Europe and you'll be like, oh yes, he is the one. Watch the red flags. If you are blessed to pay for my membership and you'll be under my guidance, be open to me. Share with me everything because i'm here for that yes guys i was taking you back before we continue with the story so when they were still preparing you know for the visa before the visa came out they had some misunderstanding and for me the way she came to me it was like these normal misunderstandings that couples have to an extent after that misunderstanding this guy disappeared for the whole day so for the first time since eve dated the austrian guy came for guidance and <laughs> was like bella i don't know this guy everything was good he sent me all the documents he has paid for everything for me to go visit him but he has disappeared on me and i'm supposed to go 
do the interview? What if the embassy calls him when they are doing an interview on me and he is not available? Are they going to deny me the visa? I was like, no, you can't go do the interview first. You need to talk to him. So make sure you talk first and after solving your misunderstanding, then you can go for that visa interview. And she told me, Bella, how can I write to him so that we can patch things out? I drafted something up for her and she sent the message to him. Yes, it worked. The guy talked to her. They solved their misunderstanding. And yeah, like I told you, eventually got the visa to go to Austria. So yes, Eve went to Austria and tells us the day she arrived it was her birthday and this guy came to the airport with flowers oh my god he was super sweet super romantic Eve was over the moon very very happy and told me bella i have arrived i was like wow that's good you know enjoy <laughs> just keep enjoying <laughs> yeah so she kept on enjoying but after staying there for one week this guy started changing you know treating her in a bad way and to be honest eve wrote to me was like bella this guy is not treating me right i think he is aggressive even the way he uses his language i don't like it and also added that they went at McDonald's, you know, to eat. And after eating, this guy went to the store and bought an engagement ring, you know. So arriving home was like, honey, babes, <laughs> will you marry me? Eve was like, no, I cannot marry you. No, no, refused. The guy really got super, super angry at Eve while she is refusing but the reason to why eve was refusing it's because she had started you know to open her eyes <laughs> that this guy no i had ignored lots of red flags this guy is toxic that is why she refused the engagement ring and when she told me i was like no girl you cannot marry a toxic guy you did good to refuse and keep refusing you know stand on your grounds don't accept that engagement ring and it's true she kept on standing on her grounds and from that time guys i told eve start planning to go back home yeah but eve continued to stay no maybe hoping this guy might change <laughs> yeah kept on observing him and kept quiet i didn't hear from eve until yesterday morning yeah when i woke up i found message was like mommy can i call police for this guy i want to go back home but he is refusing me to go i also told him if he doesn't want me to go home then i can simply go to my cousin because i've got a cousin in germany but this guy refused her and he had her passport plus the ticket so i told her yes you can call the police on this guy if you think your life is in danger go ahead and call the police she was like won't they deport me i was like no you won't get deported because you have got a return ticket you'll just have to explain to them that you want to go back home because the guy is treating you badly or you can just tell them you have got a cousin sister in germany as long as you have got a schengen visa they will allow you to go you're still on the schengen area and your visa has not expired so no one can stop you from you know traveling from one place to another but they should just save you from that guy but eve kept on trying to tell him please let me go please let me go he kept on refusing and then pretended to call the air company <laughs> that is when he changed started being nice and was like you know what we can go to switzerland you know for a vacation you know stay with me i love you so much i want to be with you but eve was like no 
I want to go. Let me go. And when Eve concluded that this guy won't let her go, was like, okay, I am calling the police right now. I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and when he saw that Eve was really serious about it, yes, had to let her go. Yesterday evening, Eve went to the airport and took a flight from Austria to Germany go stay with her cousin for the time that has remained because her visa is expiring 18th of June 2024 so that is how she got rid of the Austrian guy so guys what do we learn from this I've had ladies saying that a guy should first come to you. He should visit you first in your country <laughs> so that you can go visit him. This guy went <laughs> to Uganda, visited Eve. They stayed together for three weeks. He was so sweet to her. He was so nice to her. He was everything that Eve could imagine or that Eve prayed for. <laughs> from god but you see after he invited her in his country he changed i had said this in my videos when i gave you the tips and tricks i shared lots of videos but sadly mm, most of you don't watch those videos but they are very very helpful because the things i talked about now we get vivid examples of what i said in those videos so in the videos that i did in the past of tips and tricks on online dating i told you guys that if you're not sure about the guy don't rush to marry him immediately when he comes to visit because the thing is the relationship starts when you guys start communicating, when this guy starts telling you, I want to come and see you, I love you, I want to marry you, you know, <laughs> you're the woman of my life, you shouldn't stop only at his words and believe, no, you have to do your own part. You have to ask this guy questions, like I had said when I started this video, that questions are very, very important because that is when you are building the foundation you can't build a foundation of your relationship when this guy comes to africa for example if you're from africa you know and you start you know building the foundation there no you build that foundation when you are still chatting when he comes it is time to confirm everything that he told you yes i said you have to ask him questions when he comes but mostly you observe if <laughs> his words will match the actions his words that he used to tell you in your chats will match the actions yeah but if you just chat and be happy you have found the one but you don't know this guy really really deeply he comes to africa you say oh yes he is the one he has come for me that means i can trust him you know i can go to his country you are lying to yourself because the thing is guys when a white guy comes to africa very very few that will show you their true colors for example eric if you remember janet's story <laughs> eric showed his true characters <laughs> while in kenya yeah but most won't show you when they are in your country reasons are you know it's not their territory you know they are scared to treat you bad maybe you might call your friends and they beat him up <laughs> so he will pretend to be good to you if he is a bad guy and if you ignore the red flags don't get me wrong not all white guys that go to africa are bad they go with bad intentions they will pretend not all but like i have taken you through this whole started when they started chatting when eve didn't ask enough questions when eve never came to me to ask for guidance and just believed her head <laughs> decided to trust her head <laughs> but i can say she didn't even use her head she used her heart <laughs> yeah because when you use your head you can't go wrong <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah so let's always use both your heart and your head to reason okay so yes exist these bad bad white guys that will come and pretend not to be aggressive pretend not to be toxic but when you go to their country that is when you see their true colors because it is their territory and they feel kind protected you know because this is my country she is just an african lady like i told you if he's bad he is already thinking that you will accept anything you know that he wants to do on you so let's all learn never judge a white guy with only one side you have to see the other side too now going to the second one that we are learning from this story because i know right now you're like no 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 bella no no for me i can't go to a guy's country you have to risk I told you, if you're looking for a white guy, you want that interracial relationship, risking is a must, but you risk while your eyes are wide open. How? When you are traveling to go to a guy's country, you know, <laughs> he is a stranger, even if you met in Africa, make sure you have a plan B. Either you have someone that you know is in europe maybe your relative maybe your friend anyone you can count on if anything happens to you like i've been telling ladies that are dating italian guys be at peace <laughs> if anything happens on your schengen visa not after you getting married please <laughs> you can call me bella mm things are not going like i expected <laughs> i need to go back home i can help you you know go back home because i'm in italy so make sure you have someone you know that you can call if anything happens to help you or to guide you follow this step one two three four and get out of that situation but again don't ignore red flags and be like oh i can count on bella <laughs> <laughs> no don't do that please 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 thirdly that we are learning from this story is that no matter you want to marry a white guy no matter your dream is to live in europe if god reveals to you that the guy is not the one he is toxic at the early stages like this lady don't go ahead and fall into his trap because toxic guys i told you they're not always toxic they're not always bad they will turn bad when things don't go their way <laughs> yeah that is when they turn bad and they can turn bad again return to be nice so being nice is to manipulate you so that you can fall back into their traps never ever fall into that trap if he is toxic he will keep being toxic i have a very good example of a lady that found a guy online she came to the guy's country and when they started living together before even marriage he started showing some toxic behavior but this lady decided to reason with her heart and was like maybe he will change he proposed and eventually got married to the guy on her first visit and remained in the guy's country but as days kept on going the situation turned to be the worst as i'm talking right now this lady is still in that toxic marriage but looking for the ways of getting out of it and regrets not to go back home at the time she saw the red flags before committing because the problem is once you commit here oh my god it is something else something else but praying god gives her the courage to move out i am still praying for her and the day she moves out i'll bring her whole story here she was like bella no i will come live <laughs> to talk to your subscribers and advises anyone dating a guy and start seeing the red flags at the early stages to run run for your life for yeah so we also learn from eve that after seeing the red flags was like no 
I cannot accept that engagement ring. Just take it back to the shop. As you see, the guy tried to beat her twice. If this guy engaged her, was going to do all he can to make sure he convinces her to get married to him. Because remember, she has a multiple entry Yeah. So could have told her you're going to live good here, you're going to find a job, blah, 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 let's get married. Once you're married, it's another story. Yeah, it's not easy to move out just like the way she was able to move out now. But another thing I can add is make sure you have your returning ticket yes it is very very important have it on your phone <laughs> okay save it there don't be like oh this guy has taken my returning ticket you know it is just a paper if you have it on your phone you can easily go and print it you don't need a permission from that guy to give you your returning ticket also make sure you are the one to keep your passport when you arrive in his country so after arriving and he tells you give me your passport that same same day call the police go back home because someone who is taking your passport they clearly don't have good intentions so there is no need to sleep at that guy's house that day you arrive and he's like give me your passport no 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 make sure you keep your passport you have your returning ticket on your phone and you know <laughs> life continues you keep observing this guy when you're in his country how he treats you and everything yeah so let me hope this is helpful to you so guys we have reached an end of our today's video if you want to know the dating app where eve met this austrian guy she met him on tinder so while you are on these dating apps be careful if you're lucky to have someone to help you please ask for help don't pretend to know everything don't be carried away by these guys words sweet words please please i repeat so be blessed guys for watching this video i really appreciate much much for your love for your support that you always show me i don't know how to thank you but i will keep bringing content that i know will help you and will make you smile one day when you eventually find that right guy so give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video and please if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.